Forest and welcome to my channel. So, I got some issues and not me per okay, well, I got issues, we all know that. But I got issues with some of these companies that are being super promoted by a ton of influencers. So, let's just get started cuz I'm going to jump right in cuz I got I got some problems with these companies. The first company I want to talk about is Fashion Nova. So, I've been buying a lot of things online recently. Recently, I've been doing a little too much with the online shopping, I'm going to be honest, but it was Christmas and my birthday, and so I was trying to buy things for myself. I'm also going on lots of trips coming up, so look out for them trip videos, by the way. I've been buying a lot of stuff on Fashion Nova, sites like that, and I've realized that they kind of suck with their whole customer service or even having clothing in stock. And so let me just get into it. Uh, I wanted to buy some boots, some, well, heel boots from Fashion Nova, and I, I wanted them so bad, and they had my size in stock, and I bought it. Basically, there was a few days had passed, and I still hadn't got my shipping confirmation, and you know, they have that whole two-day shipping, so, you know, I'm waiting for that. So, a few days passed, like, maybe, like, four or five days passed, and I get a message from them, and it's saying, oh, like, sorry! <laughs> Your item actually isn't in stock and it won't be getting shipped to you. That's basically what the email says and I'm shook because I'm like, wait, you guys took money on my account still and you don't even have the item in stock? So, of course, I'm shook and I'm like, okay, so like, what's the next step basically? And they actually end up giving me my money back, like put it back in my account, which I've heard horror stories where they don't actually put it back in your account. But I'm like, this is ridiculous, like... The fact that you guys don't have an item in stock, but you can't like keep up with your website to kind of reflect that, it kind of sucks because people, like, I don't know if you're like me, but I get kind of like offended when I don't get the stuff I want that I put my money into. I'm like, wait a second, like, where's my stuff at? And so I was kind of upset. I was like, dang, those were cute. And, you know, looking online, they're the only ones like them. So I was like, dang, like, I kind of can't find any more shoes like them. So that kind of sucks. And they're just, I just feel like this is like a common thing, like their clothing will not be in stock and they'll still say on the website, oh, we're in stock. So it kind of sucks that they do that to their, you know, their customers. And I think they're actually getting better with it, but I haven't been buying from them, so I wouldn't really know. You guys can comment down below and tell me if they're getting better with that, but I think they've like heard people complaining about it and they're fixing it. I don't know if that's true or not, but... You guys can tell me. I honestly will not purchase from Fashion Nova anymore. I don't think because of that. And also, there's a lot of things. They're really bad with their customer service. Um, you try to talk to them, but it's not. you never get like an answer. I don't know. And I just feel like they're not up to par as they should be because they're such a huge, huge website. They are sponsored or they're sponsoring so many of these influencers to push and push and push their clothing. Some of their clothing is cute, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it for the customer service and for, you know, just the issues you possibly can have with them. And I bought from them in the past. I bought jeans from them, I bought shorts from them, and I bought shirts from them. And so I bought a lot of things from them in the past. Like, I spent hundreds of dollars on this company that they just, honestly, they don't live up to the standards. The shipping is never two days, you know, and so, I honestly think that a lot of the things that they kind of stand for and that they have policies for and that, you know, they tell us it's not true and it's kind of disappointing because, you know, we put our coins into these ladies and men, you know, we put our coins into this business and so we should be getting back, you know, the kind of service we deserve because, you know, they're making money. They're making lots and lots of money. They could at least, you know step up their game, you know, with a business, you're supposed to grow with your business. You're not supposed to be behind while your business is growing and growing. You can't even keep up with it. I don't know. That's how I feel about the thing. I mean, I'm sure it's hard, but like, if your business is growing, you need to grow with it. So, I don't know. And it's not even that. Uh, they're closed. I feel like they really don't fit me or maybe my body type. I don't, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm kind of thick, so it should, but their jeans are never tight on me. Like, they always end up kind of like falling off of me, so I'm like, this isn't cute. And then their shorts are way too tight on me, so I look like a sausage. I'm like, that's not cute. And, but I mean, their shirts, they look really good on me, so I can't say anything about that, but oh, I just got really blurry. I like waved my hand or something. It was like, oh, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. And yeah, um, I probably honestly won't be shopping with them anymore. But there's websites out there that I actually do shop at 
and I'll get to that in because I have another website that I kind of have an issue with, but I still will shop for the with them because I really like their uh, athletic clothing. I really like their like gym clothing, so I will still shop with them. But I got issues, so Gymshark. That's the next brand we're talking about is Gymshark. Um, I love their clothing, but let me just tell you. So. I usually, I typically buy from Victoria's Secret for gym clothing and I, they last me for such a long time. Like, I still have the same like leggings, I'm wearing, I'm not wearing them now, but I have the same gym leggings from like months and months and months ago that's from Victoria's Secret and they are still like, you know, together. Um, they, some might have gotten holes in them, but that is after like three years of almost nearly everyday use because I'm a leggings girl, like I'm wearing leggings right now these are from Calvin Klein they got some cute mesh let me model this for you <sighs> anyway I'm kind of like pfft, all over the place aren't I whatever but I'm like a leggings girl that's what I wear it's what you know it's what I'm comfortable in and so like when I buy leggings and this is like for a company that specifically does gym clothing leggings you know like the tight stuff that I like I'm like ooh, this is gonna be good you know I, saw, I keep on blurring my face okay Anyway, so, are you, you know what, you think it's going to be good, but this is what happened. I bought these Gymshark leggings about maybe five months ago, six months ago. It hasn't been a year yet. It hasn't been a year at all. And, um, I'll, let me, I'll just show you. What is this? Why does it already have a hole in it? And these are the, um, I don't know. What kind of tights are these? I don't know. I don't know. But they're the cute ones. And they already have a hole in them. And I'm like, first of all, y'all don't fool me. Y'all Insta models and y'all YouTube influencers who be telling me, oh, Gymshark this, Gymshark that. Y'all fooled me because these, these, they're cute. They're so cute. And I really love them. And I'm still going to buy them. But why does it already have a rip in it? Why? Like, I know I got thick thighs and everything, but thick thighs save lives. Not enough to save these leggings, but you know, why they already have a hole in them? I don't know. That's my issue with Gymshark. Like, the quality needs to be upped. You know, your business is bigger now. Up the quality. Let's do it. I mean, I really love Gymshark, and I will still buy from them. But I'm just feeling like some of these companies, these influencers be pushing on us, like they aren't up to par with their quality, with their own policies, with the things they say they will deliver. And so it just really annoys me. And I really think that as a consumer, like I expect to be getting like good products sent back to me, you know, like I'm using my money on this stuff. What's the point? And so basically I'm just saying like, these companies need to step their game up. These influencers, they need to be honest with us. It's kind of, I don't know, it's just annoying. This is just me ranting. I'm honestly, this is a rant video completely. So, like, if you're sticking with me still and you're still here, like, thumbs up this video. Um, this is just a rant, and I'm sure lots of people agree with me. I'm sure lots of people have been in the same situation I have. Especially if you're watching this, you're probably like, what is going on? Why do these companies do this to us? And so, yeah. I don't know. That's really all I gotta say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, com if you can, if you can comment, if you can relate, comment down below. As always, I love you guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And bye.